Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ross Brown Export, as part of Rostec State Corporation, welcomes you to the 10th anniversary International Military Technical Forum, Army 2024. And we have the presentation chalet for you, where we've displayed uh, various weapons, systems, equipment, and assets. And you are welcome to enjoy them and ask questions. But today, we are going to talk about something special, something new, something that makes a change for your troops on the battlefield. Meet the game changer. Lancet E system, which makes a great difference for your troops on the modern TOP, helping to engage targets with pinpoint accuracy and fast enough to conduct counter battery operations. So the main designation of the system is to deliver warheads to the remote enemy objects, including all the assets represented on the modern battlefield. Now let's have a look at the components of the system. And for reconnaissance capabilities, we have right above your heads Z16E, the reconnaissance UV. For striking capability, we have two guided munition carriers, which are represented here. One is in the right up corner, one is right before your eyes. If we are talking about uh, C2 and the command and control, all the elements of that system, we have uh, the ground control station, the antenna, and everything that comes with the whole delivery set of Lancet E. Let's go to our reconnaissance capability, which is represented by Z16E, which is above your heads and on the screen. I'm not going to stop on uh, the specs for long, but it's not the numbers, but it's the way it enhances your recce capabilities and combat capabilities. Now let's have a look at the real footage from our Ministry of Defense, generously provided for this presentation. So the way we assemble the crew of Lancet E system, assembles the system, then launches it and guides it. The next comes the work of the personnel on the ground station, who are designating the targets, searching for them, giving the coordinates, etc. And finally, we engage the identified targets with our striking capabilities, which are represented by item 51E and item 52E. And uh, one of the most important capabilities of uh, Z16 UAV is that it can conduct all the operations day with high resolution camera and by night with the thermal camera, the EV is also used as a transmitting device for our striking capability. The next comes item 52E, which is designed to deliver warheads to remote enemy targets and to engage them with high precision. I'm not going to talk about it for too long, because the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's have a look at first specs that we have. It's a tactical UAV. And then we are going to have a look at the video of uh, the launch of uh, item 52E. So we've already uh, discovered the targets, identified them, and we've received the information from the aerial vehicle to the ground control station. So we have the information, the targets are designated now. We are assembling the item 52 and launching it to engage it. The next comes item 51E, which is uh, a bit heavier. It has a longer range and it has a longer flight time. The specs of the vehicle are right on the screen there for you. 
And we can see that it has already a flight range of 40 kilometers. It has a um, flight range and longer flight time. And it is designated to engage the whole range of material, including heavy armor and other enemy targets. Where list of targets is concerned, I'm going to launch the video for you. And we're going to talk about all the targets engaged. As far as the protocols we have, we've engaged tanks, APCs, IFVs, artillery, be it towed or be it self-propelled, radars, EW stations, the system that should counter UAVs, but they were also engaged by Lancet E system. So you name it, Lancet E will engage it. Another important idea is represented on that screen, which you can uh, check a bit later. The full protocol of all the systems engaged by Lancet E system. Because as I've already mentioned, the proof of the pudding is in the eating and you are the eyewitness today of all the engagements conducted by Lancet E system. Another important aspect that we've already engaged the vessels, which is a hard target for most of the UAVs and also engaged, uh, as you can see uh, a bit late right now on the screen, uh, we've engaged aircraft where uh, night operations are concerned. You are going to see right now, we've engaged nighttime, op during nighttime operations, the aircraft too. As you can see in the hangars, on the open air field, you name it, Lancet he will engage it. Another important task for Lancet E is its counter battery operations, which is vital because the gods of war hasn't changed much from uh, the past times when artillery were the main firepower. So we use Lancet E for counter battery operations as it is. It can be deployed fast and it can engage targets with high precision. So, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for your attention. Before I round it off, I'd like to say that Rossobron Export, as part of Rostec State Corporation, is the only official intermediary in the area of export and import of military, dual purpose goods, services, and technologies. We wish you a fruitful stay at the International Exhibition Army 2024, and you are welcome to ask questions in the working mode. Thank you.